Rod Gilbert has told fans he is feeling optimistic about his cancer battle as he issued an update. The 54-year-old is currently on a break from his work commitments but is hoping for a better 2023 so he can start having fun again. On BBC Wales this week, the comedian revealed he was feeling happy, positive and optimistic. I'm feeling good and feel like I'm recovering day by day, he added. Some days I'm well enough to do a bit of writing and I've got a feeling when I got through all this there'll be a show in it. The things people say when they find out you've got cancer. People panic. There's a lot of humor in it. Hi to high actress Ruth Maddock dies aged 79 after accident hopefully I'm going to jot it all down and one day bring it to the stage. Since his diagnosis, he has been receiving chemotherapy and radiotherapy, as well as undergoing surgery. On December 9, he added he was yet to receive his results. If it hasn't worked as well as I've hoped, then maybe I'll have to go back for more treatment, he explained to Hilary Cyan. Back in July, the Nevermind the Buzzcocks star revealed that he was undergoing treatment for cancer at the Lindray Cancer Center in Cardiff. The comedian sought help after he started to feel ill and noticed lumps appearing on his body during a charity fundraising track. After sharing the news, he was swiftly inundated with well wishes from fans who he thanked for their support. Earlier this year, he said, so while I never imagined that I would be a patient here, I know better than anyone that I am in the best possible hands. Nadia Sawala sends fans wild stripping down to bikini for England, pictured Strictly's Hamza Yassin isolated himself without phone signal, revealed Cher's mum actress Georgia Holt dies aged 96 after health battle, RIP, the NHS care I'm receiving is incredible. I wouldn't wish this on anyone. But who knows, maybe he'll come out the other end with a new stand-up show and a 40-minute rant about orange squash. In a message posted on his official Facebook page he continued, As a proud patron of Villandre Cancer Center, I've tracked the world, hosted chaotic quizzes and star-studded comedy nights. I've met and made friends with so many inspirational staff, patients and their families. It has been a huge part of my life for the last 10 years. Thank you everyone for your support over the last few weeks and months, and years. I'll be disappearing for a while and won't be commenting further, at least not for now, whilst I focus on my recovery. Life is a lot at the moment but we're getting through it with the help of our wonderful friends and family. In August, Rod's wife Son Harry's revealed the couple have moved closer to the hospital. She tweeted, moved house for the third time today since July so Rod can be close to hospital. The pair have been married for almost a decade. 